Hey guys, how's it going? This is uh, Pills, and I'm going to show you some of my favorite S7 Edge cases. First, I want to start with the spec candy shell, as you can see here. I have it in white, or as some of you may call it, zebra. It's an overall, a little bit of a bulky case, I mean, you can see I have some dirt in here. But it is by far the best case in terms of grip, drop protection, etc. And here is my S7 Edge, so I'm just going to pop it in here real quick. You can see it just pops in there without any issues and you have a little bit of a bevel here as you saw in the pictures. I mean, this case probably provides one of the better bevel sizes if you could see there. It's about a millimeter, millimeter and a half. But overall, it, it's an excellent case. I mean, you're not going to drop your phone in this and if you do, it's not going to be damaged. And all the buttons, very tactile response, no issues whatsoever. And as you can see here at the cutouts, access to everything your ports as well no blockage on your microphone your speaker micro usb or headphone jack and of course you have your top microphone cutout so now i'm going to quickly move on to my next favorite case which is this spigen or spigen however you want to pronounce it rugged armor this is probably the thinnest tpu case that actually will provide some good protection um, Spigen claims it is mil spec rated, so you will have that, I believe, 26 drops at 6 feet. And as you can see here, it does have all the cutouts, but the top microphone cutout is slightly off. I don't know if you could see there. And again, you have all of your cutouts here on the bottom. Not perfectly centered, as some of you may have mentioned and noted in the uh, post there. But again, it's still a great case, great feel to it overall. It does pick up some dirt over time, if you could see here. Especially when I put it on my wireless charger, you'll get like a circle. I don't know if you could faintly see that right here. But again, it's one of those things you could just wipe off with a simple cloth. Such as one of these guys. I have them everywhere. They work really well. And I just want to note, there's no screen protector currently on this phone. Because this is my RMA S7. Because it has really bad burn-in. So I'm filming with my other one, if you can see. But again, there, so there won't be any like... I can't show you how screen protection would interfere, like with the Distronic, which is really the only case I have any issues with due to how tightly it fits. So keep that in mind when I'm showing you these cases. Next, I'm going to show you the Incipio Octane, which is kind of like a frosted back, very similar to the uh, sub case here. And at first, I wasn't really too fond of this case, but I found over time it really has grown on me. I mean, you could see this almost tire-like pattern here, which doesn't really provide grip, but it looks nice. I mean, the bad thing about frosted cases, I will note, is I'm not sure if you could see, but occasionally when you'll put your phone in, it'll scrape this surface here, and you'll have like little marks, I don't know if you could see in the corner there, right here. But one thing Incipio did correctly is they added a nice black coating to this camera area, so the flash will not interfere with anything, which is a good thing, because a lot of clear cases do not do that. And, you know, you have no watermarking here, of course, because it is a frosted back, you can see their logo right here. Again, you have that nice feeling power button and volume rockers here. All of Incipio's cutouts are usually spot on, unlike the Spike and Rugged Armor. And as you can see on the bottom, you have, again, your microphone cutout, your speaker cutout, micro USB, etc. And all of these cases, of course, do work with a wireless charger, which I can add in another video if you guys would like to see that. So I'm going to move on to the... Uh, the Spigen FinFit. Again, this is a great case. I personally don't know if I would use it outside because I tend to drop my phone quite often. Although they do give you a nice raised camera bevel here so you can lay it flat and not have to worry about your phone breaking. Of course, on the side you have cutouts which allow full access to your volume up and down as well as your power buttons. There is a very, very minimal lip. I know I noted that in my table, but it does exist. It's maybe about the thickness of a business card at best, but it is there. I, I guess the case wasn't popped on all the way there. Let's pop this on. Sometimes it's a little bit of a tricky fit if you don't put one end oops, on first. You'll have that bowing out section as you see here in the middle, so you can just pop that back down, and then it fits just fine. So again, you have all of your cutouts on the bottom, and because this is a thin fitting case, I should note that you have these corner cutouts here. So you won't get that much protection, but it does have that nice Nexus 5 soft feel finish, which picks up oil, as you can see from my hands. 
But it, the nice part is it will wipe right off. So up to the top we have our microphone cutout, which is a lot better centered on this case as compared to the rugged armor, which I just showed you. So I'm going to first touch on the Distronic as far as clear cases go. I'll follow up with some of the other ones. I know there were some issues when I spoke with Distronic about this case with watermarking, which if you guys aren't aware is when the case will stick to the back of the phone and it'll cause like a rainbow effect. But if you use a skin on your phone, you won't really notice it because again, it's not going to stick. But since this, there is a very tiny air gap between the back of the case here and your phone, it does have that potential to stick. I'm not sure if Distronic will correct this, but again, it's not really a big issue to me. And I'm not going to, you know, say it's a bad case because by no means is it a bad case. It still looks great. And, you know, not everyone uses a skin or screen protector. As I noted, this doesn't work with a screen protector, at least any that I've tried, including all the ones that are uh, cut specifically for cases, such as like the Verizon one, for example. But as you can see here, it is a nice 100% clear case on the back. You have that signature Distronic TPU, which feels great. The buttons are very, very responsive. You have, of course, these little rubber feet too to keep the back off your table, which is another big advantage. You don't see that in a lot of clear cases these days. And it does have an anti-scratch coating. And as you can see, you have, of course, your signature Distronic logo. This is a great clear case. I would use it more often if I did not use a screen protector, but unfortunately I do because as a college student, I tend to drop my phone, misplace things, it gets scratched. So I usually use a screen protector in a case. And as we move on to the top, you can see that microphone is pretty centered in there, as well as the bottom. You have all of your cutouts, nice big cutout for your speaker here, micro USB port and headphone jack. And you shouldn't have any issues fitting anything in there. If you look, it's pretty big cutout. So one case I'm a big fan of is the Incipio Stowaway because you can fit three cards in here, maybe a little more. My first one I was sent had a lot of molding marks. This one does not. This is a replacement they sent me. Don't mind the little dirt on there from sitting on my table. But anyway, this is a great case. It is very thick, but it does its job very well. So one thing I want to note is because this is open to the back of your phone, Incipio includes a nice clear film here that you can put on the back of your phone so your cards will not scratch your phone. I know some other clear cases avoid that by having a TPU layer between the case or the bottom of the case and your phone, but that of course makes the case thicker if you want to add more cards. So I'm gonna pop the S7 Edge in here real quick. As you can see, you know, you do have a nice lip here. It's again, one of the bigger ones, kind of like similar to the spec case I showed you earlier. Of course, you have very responsive buttons like the Dual Pro, should have been, or the Dual Pro Shine, I should say. The other Dual Pro was fine, aside from it bending over time and then not fitting with the back. But this case I've been using for a few weeks now. Zero issues, I really like it. Of course, you can open this guy up. You can fit three cards in here. This is supposed to be able to be used as a kickstand, but as you can see, it must take some time to break in because it's just going to close on itself there. So again, this is the Incipio Stowaway case. Big fan of it because it does fit three cards. You can, you know, if you have your S7 Edge, if there's a retailer for whatever reason, it doesn't work with Samsung Pay. You can always just keep your card in here. And for some reason, this corner doesn't want to stay closed. That goes. I guess not. Well, anyway, I'll have to see why that's not closing there because my other one closed just fine, actually. Just opened the box on this guy. So lastly, I'm going to show you guys the... Uh, Subcase Beetle, which is again one of my favorite cases just because it's simple. Frosted back, doesn't try and be anything fancy, it works well, provides pretty good drop protection, and they kept their design very similar to the Nexus 6P. So this guy I'm just going to pop S7 Edge in here real quick. And as you can see you get somewhat of a lip here again, more on the bigger side compared to some of the other cases. You have this nice rib side which does provide a little grip but not as much as these uh, indents right here, which really let you hold on to your phone quite well. And as if you can notice, you see uh, Subcase has a bigger cutout around the camera. Not really a big fan of that, but again, it's one of those things each case manufacturer will decide to do for whatever reasons. I'm assuming because they didn't want to make this black, they made it bigger so the flash does not interfere, or it does not interfere with the flash, I should say. So along the side, you have your volume buttons, of course. You know, no issues with the buttons at all in this case. Along the top, you have a massive cutout for your uh, top microphone, if my S7 wants to focus here. Okay. And of course, along the bottom, you have 
cut out for each of the appropriate port. 